Hey, it's Paul again here from makeyourwebsite.com.au. Continuing yep. on from the last artist year lesson, I'm going to show you how I achieved the Golden Point Cafe design in artist year. So if you remember back to the pool lesson, the plan your web's design lesson, you have noticed that the site layout, um, where I've skipped that out. All right, you can see the top there of the header with the logo up top. Now I want the logo to stand out by itself. Navigation bar, we'll go next. On the right in the content area, we've got a menu, the main content area next to that, and then a footer down the bottom. Okay, if you remember our design elements, the colours are going to be black, white, and blue. The font, I'm going to use a Times New Roman and Arial for the headings, and Trillshoot MS for the body text. I want a clean, modern, sleek looking design, and as I mentioned uh, before, I want the logo to stand out just for the branding. Now, the design itself will come up like this. This is the design that I've previously done, just to give you a preview of what I'm going to be looking to achieve in Artistia. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I actually achieved this design using Artistia. Okay, so if I open up Artistia, and you'll notice I'll get that standard design. This design is one that always comes up. Okay, so for starters what I'm going to do is, now depending on which version of Artisty you've got, if you've got the trial version or the standard edition, which was the $129 edition, what we're going to choose is we're going to choose a Joomla template. Okay, if you bought the home edition for $49, okay, you'll be choosing a WordPress template. You won't have Joomla available. Now if you did get that home edition, what you'll do is you'll create your WordPress template and you'll save it. And what you'll do is you'll send that through to us here at Make Your Website and we'll convert that into a Joomla template for you. Okay, so if you've got the home edition, use WordPress. For the trial or standard edition, use the Joomla template. Now remember the trial edition will leave the watermarks on the template. However, it will give you a good trial to see if you like the product and if you want to go further ahead and, and purchase it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is choose my colours. So we mentioned four. My colors that I'm going to be using are black, white, and blue. Now for the blue color, I want to take the blue off the bird in the logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to the website and use that Colorzilla module that plugged into the file uh, to our Mozilla Firefox. So if I head over to the school and go to the preschool listen of the plan your website design, I've got the logo sitting in down the bottom there. So what I want is I want this blue color here. So what I'll do is I'll grab my little color picker. Now if you haven't done that lesson, it was the upgrade your browser lesson. Grab that blue color. You'll notice down the bottom there now, it has taken that color blue. So I'm going to co copy that hexadecimal color and head back to Artistia. Now back in Artistia, you can see that I can choose more colors for that third color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in that blue and click OK and you'll notice now I've got my three colors up the top. So save that theme as a Golden Point Cafe theme. And OK. Alright, so now that I've got my colors, what I will now want to do is choose my font sets. So as I said for the body text, I'm going to be using the Shoot MS test. OK, so that's it for that section. Moving on to the layout. Alright, so my layout, what I wanted is the header with the navigation underneath. I had a menu on that side with the content area. Alright, so the page layout will be header, then menu, which it is. Columns will be two columns with the big column to the left, uh, sorry, the, the menu column to the left and the content to the right. And you can see there, that's how it's going to be laid out. Now for the background, don't have any background image. As you can remember, it was just plain white. Don't have any gradient, no glare, and no texture. And the fill color will just be plain white. Okay, so that's my plain white background. So if I back over, this is what I'm trying to achieve again. Alright, so I've got my white background. Okay, my sheet. 
So the width is up to you. I'm going to set the width at 100 pixels. I don't want to have any radius on that. I don't want to use any border and there should be no shadow. Okay, the sheet is talking about referring to, you can see how it's still the grey colour behind there. So I want to make that fill colour as the white. I don't want any fill colour. And to make sure of that, I'll just change that to 100% transparency, which means that the background colour will show through. So as you can see now, I've got a nice white background. Okay, moving along to header section, I'm going to change my header. Now I don't want any image or photo behind it, and I don't want any headline text. Okay, I want that just to be plain white. I don't want any glare. I don't want any texture. And I don't want any gradient. This will be a bit of trial and error for you if you're new at the program, just to fumble around and, and get to know it. But as you can see, it is quite powerful in what I'm able to do. Now for the foreground photo, I'm going to use the foreground photo to actually use um, to, to grab the the um, the logo for the Golden Point Cafe. And you can see that's now put my logo in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position that logo. I'm going to drag it across over to there. Okay. Now for the menu bar. As you can see, that's not the menu bar that I want. Okay, so I'm going to change the styling of that. over to the right. Okay, so once again, going back over to the design, you can see it's starting to take shape at the top of it there. Okay, moving across to the article section. Don't have any margin, no padding. I don't want to show the date or author. As it's not a blog, I don't want it to look more like a website, not a blog where people contribute to it. Okay, now that's it for part one. Part two, I'm going to continue on with this design and show you the rest of the design and finalise it. Okay, so I'll see you in part two.